I've been sitting on the many Lewis cons for a little while now, because they didn't really seem to be going anywhere. However, the most recent addition talks of some potential support coming the Division's way that could really mix things up. Frederick Lewis grew up in the ocean. When old enough, he joined the North Carolina Coast Guard, and over the course of time, worked his way up to the prestigious search and rescue team. After getting married, he and his wife would move inland, where he would run a farm. Due to the need for a little more excitement in his life, Lewis joined the National Guard. But when his marriage eventually ended, he wasted no time in moving back to North Carolina and rejoining the Coast Guard. Unfortunately, not long after returning, the Green Poison was released. When the Joint Task Force was established, his Coast Guard unit would be sent to New York to help the JTF in DC. Lewis would be placed under Colonel Antoine Ridgway's command, and when Ridgway stopped taking orders from above and started taking matters into his own hands, Lewis was one of the soldiers loyal to his cause who would free him from the JTF prison, then becoming the True Sons. After Ridgway's death, General Anderson would take the reins. Lewis would continue with his loyalties towards the True Sons. Anderson would eventually have Lewis carry out an operation in DC. They were hunting for something, and they have now found it. Lewis and his men head to the Jefferson Trade Center immediately. This is where the division catch up with him, except he is all alone, the last member of his team. Lewis and the division team up to take down the Black Tusk who have taken hold of the site. But while in there, they learn of an individual called the Recruiter, the target that Lewis and Anderson seem to have been hunting. Once the Black Tusk threat had been removed and the Recruiter had vanished, Lewis and the division parted ways. Not long after this operation, we would find out that Manny and Lewis had been communicating. Manny, what do you want, Captain? We used to be friends. That was before you joined Ridgeway. I thought I knew you, Fred. You do know me. Don't be like that. You killed people. This is war, Manny. We've all killed people. It's not the same, you know that. Whatever helps you sleep at night. What do you want, Fred? To help. Surrender into custody and we've got a nice cell ready with your name on it. I said I want to help. Being in jail doesn't help you. Not having to wonder anymore if one of my agents is going to punch your clock. That helps me. Access helps you, Manny. And I've got access. Manny and Lewis worked alongside each other in the JTF, all the way up until the day that Colonel Antoine Ridgway turned his back on the government after losing faith in their ability to do what was needed to make it through the pandemic. The JTF around Ridgway were faced with a choice, to fall back to the other JTF units, or to join this new band calling themselves the True Sons, becoming an enemy of the country. Manny fell back, keeping to his oath, while Lewis sided with Ridgway agreeing that things needed to be done differently if the country was going to survive. Manny and Lewis weren't just colleagues, they were friends, so Manny took this betrayal pretty hard. How could someone he trusted so deeply make such a bad judgement call? The JTF is the combined forces of all the remaining police officers, firefighters, army national guardsmen and other civil and military branches. They are the good guys. What is he doing joining up with a group that is essentially the enemy working against them? But Lewis still feels that what he did was justified. However, under Anderson, things have now changed. He wants to help put a stop to Anderson and Natalia's plans. However, Manny is going to need a little more than just words to be convinced that Lewis is suddenly now interested in helping the right side. Any updates? Yeah, but I think it's better if we meet in person. You want an invitation to the White House? No. Pretty sure that would blow my cover. For all I know, you're doing recon for Anderson and this is a trap. That's why I want to meet. So I can stare into your eyes and know you're telling the truth. Something like that. Where do you want to meet? Manny is still very skeptical, but Lewis assures him that if they meet face to face, he'll be able to help him understand that he really just wants to help. You actually came alone. Need to build trust. Have to actually keep your word. Right. You didn't come along, did you? No, but for good reason. The intel I wanted to share with you is Wally. Nice to meet you, Manny. 
Apparently a person is intel now. We've met. We have? Yeah. DC protest crowd control back in December. Oh, shit. That's right. Oh, how's your uncle? Dead. How's your sister? Dead. How's my dog? Fine. Ransom's running around here somewhere. Well, that's something at least. What intel do you have, Wally? We've been maintaining a power plant. In Fairview? Yeah. A bunch of the engineers we want to defect. Anderson is making promises to the Black Tusk. We don't want any part of what he's planning. Manny and Lewis meet up in person. But Lewis hasn't come alone. He brings someone called Wally, who appears to be an engineer at the Fairview power plant. And like Lewis, she wants nothing to do with what Anderson is planning. Interestingly enough, Manny knows her too, so she must have been a part of the JTF as well. So I guess the big question here is, what is Anderson planning, and how does this involve the power plant? Not much has been said on Wally just yet, but I get the feeling we'll be hearing more about this character soon. There's more on our side now. How many more? A hundred? Maybe a hundred and twenty? It's too many, Fred. Anderson is going to suspect something's up. <laughs> He's too busy trying to impress Natalia. He doesn't know his ass from his elbow. I don't have an extra hundred beds, Fred. We're not ready to move yet anyway. But get ready. When we pull the trigger, you're going to have a new army at your disposal. That's what I'm afraid of. What are you afraid of? That your army's going to show up and my agents are going to shoot first and ask questions later. We don't know who we can trust. And if Anderson gets wind of a mutiny before you're ready, that puts all of you in danger. You're too cautious. And you're too reckless. Have faith. And get ready. Lewis proudly and excitedly announces that he has managed to find over a hundred True Sun soldiers who are willing to follow him in joining up with Manny, the JTF, and the Division. But he wasn't expecting Manny to react in the way that he did. Which is weird, I thought he knew Manny, the most panicky character in the Division universe. However, in this case, Manny is probably right to be concerned. How can Lewis really know and trust that many people to know that they won't let this planned abandonment get back to Anderson? It could be due to someone attempting to bolster their rank within the True Sons, willing to work undercover and gather intel. Or someone could just slip up. Regardless, this is all moving very quickly, and Manny is the type to like a very solid plan in place before acting on anything. At this stage, he hasn't even alerted the JTF and the Division to what he's been organizing with Lewis let alone where he'll be able to house and feed so many extra bodies. Manny is probably being a little overcautious, but Lewis is definitely being reckless. An army of 100 plus ex-JTF, ex-True Sons will certainly come in useful, as the Division agents haven't had any real support for quite some time now. But this won't be enough to take down the Black Tusk and the remaining True Sons who stayed loyal to Anderson. So what is their plan? Will this force be tasked with taking down Anderson in the final manhunt? and whatever he's doing at Fairview Power Plant. Interesting stuff starting to come through these Manny Lewis comms. It'll be pretty cool starting to work with some of the True Sons. I really hope this leads to larger scale battles in the future. I hate having to say this again, but on this channel I don't cover glitches, exploits, and leaks. So please be thoughtful towards other members of the community, and me, who don't wish to have the story spoiled and would rather have it play out as intended. Otherwise, I'm stoked with the turn these cons are taking. Admittedly, they started off a little slow, but I guess the scene had to be set. Summing up, Lewis has reached out to his old JTF buddy from back in the day, Manny, and is offering to help stop Anderson. On top of this, he has managed to persuade a large number of other true sons to follow him and join the JTF and Division in the upcoming fight. I'm pretty keen to see how this plays out, but I'm also very interested in what Anderson is planning and what part the Fairview Power Plant will play in this. Anyway, that's enough for now. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. And don't forget, Extremis Malus, Extrema Remedia.